Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to episode 11 of our Let's Play series. Today we've got another build that I'm look, looking at to build. And so what I'm looking at doing is I want to build, you know, something over here. Or at least that's what I kind of want to do over the next couple episodes. What I really want to do is to start off with is I want to build like a greenhouse. We found two bees nests over the past couple of episodes, and I want to utilize those bees. I want to start getting some honey. I start wanting to get some honey blocks. I would love to be able to use some bees to speed up the process of growing our crops. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So I should start off with telling you guys what we've been doing off camera. To start off with, we've harvested our wheat field, as well as we've gone up to Charlotte's Tower and gone two mending books. I've done quite a bit of mining and resource scattering off camera, and to the point where our, our tools have gone really bad. And so what we've had to do is we've had to put mending on them. And so I've spent some time at the AFK fish farm rebuilding those tools up and they're back to being fresh for durability for our video today. So for this greenhouse, I'm thinking we're going to need quite a bit of spruce for this. So we're going to go ahead and start gathering the materials that we're going to need. We need some sand so we can start smelting some glass because we're going to need quite a bit of it. Um, there's some of the iron left over that we did have or from our mining sessions. Awesome. I've already got some glass in there. So I'm going to continue to gather all the materials that we do need while we're out there. And then we're going to go ahead and get started building this greenhouse. So I'm thinking right here would be a perfect spot to actually start the greenhouse. But what we need to do is we need to start terraforming this just a little bit. Fill in this hole. This this can't. Oh my goodness. I wonder if they're doing something down there and having a meeting. I hope not. Um, well, that was that was a little scary. Um, so we're going to fill in this hole tomorrow morning after we go to bed and we're going to go ahead and start laying out the foundation of our greenhouse. Alright, so we've got the foundation laid out for our greenhouse, which I'm... It's a little small, but I think it's going to be just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this middle column and we're going to come up 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we're going to take some damage and jump back down. All right, so now we're going to come up by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we're going to do that all the way around. So our next task is going to be turning all these spruce wood into stripped spruce wood. Now, along with that, we're going to try not to die when we actually fall down from these things until at least we get feather falling on some boots. So let's go ahead and get all these logs stripped and let's continue from there. Perfect. Now we're going to go around and raise all these up by two with the exception of over here. We're going to just raise it up by one just like so and we're out of spruce wood so we're going to need to get some more so now we're going to come through and place all these cobblestone stairs upside down underneath as like little supporting blocks So now we're going to start working on the roof so we're going to place an oak stair there but actually facing down instead of up so just like so and then we're going to come up and we're going to tack on one more next to it because we're going to push this out by two and we're going to place one right here one right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to take an oak plank if we have one yes we do oh not what i wanted to do but that's okay we're going to come up by one we're going to place a stair, we're going to place an upside down stair, and put one more, and then one more upside down stair. From here, we're going to place 
one slab like that. We're gonna come out, come up, and then boom, boom, just like that. And then we're gonna copy that pattern on the other side. got the start of the roof we're going to actually bump this out by one more and use dark oak on the outside as an accent color and we're going to do the same pattern all the way up So that is the start of our roof, and now we're gonna start filling in all of these areas with glass. So we're gonna go have to get some more smelted up. So we're gonna come around with our glass panes and we're gonna start placing them all in, all the way up to start the look of our greenhouse. We got the glass all in the windows now and then we gotta scale it up just a little bit more and then we gotta actually put the rest of the roof on so let's go ahead and put the roof on and it's just going to consist of glass blocks going all the way across so we're almost done with this build and we can start introducing the bees nest into this area soon So let's go ahead and fill in all of this area. So I'm gonna put sandstone right over here, just in this little section right here. And then I'm gonna put dirt everywhere else, all around. Put in the door area and all we did was just use trap doors stacked on top of each other which is really a cool idea and then we used a jungle door because I think that looks kind of cool with how the entrance would be so now we've done cross beams in here we filled all this area in and now it's just time to decorate so now I need to go get some leaves and get my creative juices flowing so I actually can make this look really cool but beforehand what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig out this area right here and we're going to get two campfires because we're going to put our two bees nest right here on top of some oak logs, I think. So we're going to go ahead and put those in and get the bees nest in here. Um, and then we're going to continue to decorate. All right, guys, so we finally finished the build. Let's go ahead and grab our two bees nests. Hopefully the bees are still in there. Otherwise, I'll be kind of disappointed. Let's head back over to the greenhouse and let me show you guys what i've done with the creativity so we're getting our first glimpse of it right now and i think it looks really good so we've come in here and we're going to enter it up i've put flowers all around because we're going to need it for the bees and then i've got some vines or some leaves hanging like vines i think that looks incredibly awesome so let's go ahead and pop bees nest number one there and bees nest number two there. And awesome, I hear some of the bees already. So while we wait for those to pop out, let's go ahead and take a look at over here. I've got some shears over here. I've got some barrels. I put an apple on top to see kind of like a little bit of greenery in color. 
And come on, guys. Let's see if you guys can come out. I need to breed you guys because I think only one of these had bees in it. Oh, there we go. There's our first one that comes out. How do you like your new home, buddy? All right, come on. Get, get your friends to pop out. Let's go ahead and get a party going. So we finally got two bees out, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and breed these two. And there comes our third one out. <laughs> yes, we finally got a baby bee. Look how cute that is. Oh, yes. So let's go ahead and get these shears. I think I'm, I'm a tad afraid. The, we've got the smoke coming up through here, so we shouldn't be hurt. Okay, awesome. Guys, we got our first honeycombs. This is great. Let's, we should be able to, oh, you know, we should, what, what was that sound? Oh, them going to the nest. All right, so let's go ahead and put a crafting table in right here. So we're going to need some spruce or some kind of wood. And let's put that in, see if we can make a bees beehive. All right, guys, we got our first beehive too. And we will end up putting that one over here just like so and then we'll put a log and then a fire underneath so let's go ahead and go get the stuff for that so we got our campfire and we're gonna dig this little block out we're gonna place that there let's get our oak log place it right there and we've got another beehive this is perfect guys we've got our bee or our honey blocks little farm going and i think we'll expand this too we might make um hello um you shouldn't be outside um we should probably go figure that out why are you how how, how did you get outside well we've still got the baby and the other one in there so there should be technically three I went ahead and grabbed a lead so let's let's see if we can't get this guy to come back inside i don't know how he got out um but come on all right well that was interesting to say the least so i have to say that looks pretty good for our greenhouse and you can see the bees flying inside but we need to do something a little bit more, not necessarily with the greenhouse, but we need to do something with the area around here. As you guys can see, it's just kind of empty and you know, I've got an idea for what I'd like to do. I'd like to turn this area into farmlands. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna take the orange rule that I have and we're gonna kind of mark out little areas for like gardens and stuff. So that's, I think, what we're going to do just to get prepared because I want to do in the next episode or in the next coming episodes just a little bit of a farmland out here and just different things that we can do. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start laying that out. Excuse me, sir. That, that is my bed, not yours. Please leave. Thank you. So we got our other wool. We're going to, like, go between yellow and orange. Um, I think that will help kind of vary it out just a little bit. So we're going to keep placing all of these and then we're going to go up to the top up there and take a look at this. Like I said earlier, now we don't want to have ones that are so massively big that we can't do anything with them. Because, you know, wheat would be kind of hard in some of these really big ones. And, you know, I'm, I'm not really, don't really like the idea of making a massive one that I have to do a whole wheat field in. So I think what we're gonna do is just kind of keep some of them small, keep some of them big, and just kind of keep messing around with it. Just kind of randomize it, like I said. So that looks pretty good so far for a start. We could put like wheat, we could put Court, uh, courts, no, carrots. We could put potatoes. Um, I want to do like some sunflowers and some other plants over here too. So we're going to need a couple more. I also want to throw in like a house over here. So I might put like a house over here. That actually would be a, a great place to put it right in the middle of everything. Except would that line up too much? Mm, we'll have to play around and see. 
and then we'll put some stuff out to there. Eventually we'll have a wall that comes into here to kind of cutting off that section. So we'll have to play around with this and see what we can do. Let's get back down to the bottom. So we've got the layout of our farm finally done and I'm pretty happy with it. We've got seven farms right here that are going to be hold a various amount of crops, which is going to be great. And so I think we're going to be ending the episode right here. And I think what we're going to do is finish this up in part two of this video. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button down below, especially if you like this video. Go ahead and tune into next week when we finish this build project. It's going to be a great video. I'm already knowing exactly what I want to do with it. But go ahead and leave a comment down there in the video and let me know what you think I should be putting into this next build. And let me know what you guys think about the bee house or the greenhouse. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and until next time, guys, you guys have a good one.